Alright, what's going on strong men and women? Nighty Move EC here, world's strongest man under 90 kgs. Um, so last week I found myself thinking like what am I doing to help the sport of strong man, you know, having that title and I thought I'd really like to um, do a bit more for the people just starting out in the sport and I thought today I would uh, demonstrate how I like to do the continental clean on the axle bar. So um, let's get into it. Alright, for anyone who doesn't, I'm just going for anyone who doesn't know what a uh, continental clean is, it's when you uh, clean the axle bar from the ground um, with like a pause or a uh, resting point uh, on your torso before you clean it up to your shoulder. So I'll demonstrate one quickly. Just like that. Um, right, so if we start at the bottom, I like to do it with a mixed grip. Um, a lot of people can clean quite a lot with a double overhand on the axle, and uh, it is a really fast way of doing it, but I think when you want to achieve the maximum weight possible up to the shoulders, you're going to probably need to start with a mixed grip um, from the floor. So, um, just like you would a uh, mixed grip deadlift, um, one hand over, one hand under gripping the bar like this and then what we want to do is we want to lower our hips and clean the bar up to uh, our torso and probably the main thing I want you to focus on when you are cleaning the bar up is getting your hips forward so when you're doing a power clean for example on an Olympic bar we're always starting off with our hips back pulling the bar up and then receiving the bar in our rack position with our hips backwards when we're doing the axle clean or the continental clean we want to focus on getting our hips forward um, in front of the bar so that we have well, like a little shelf to rest this bar on midway up so mix it from the floor pull it up and roll it into your body you need to keep the lats on tight here and make sure that the, the bar isn't going to roll down or um, fall away from the body what you might have noticed as well is that um, halfway up while I was doing this first part of the pull, uh, first part of the clean, I switched my underhand uh, to the overhand position so that I received the bar on my belly with two hands over the top. So watch like this. So that's a, um, that's a really um, good point because it's going to mean that you're more efficient uh, and getting that bar from the uh, shelf into the rack position because you're not having to switch your hand over. I'll demonstrate um, what it can look like if you keep your underhand underneath. So you see if you, um, if you do leave your hand underneath, which some people may need to do until they get the technique down pat, um, it just adds another step in the clean. So. Um, if you can practice this from the beginning, uh, while you're doing light weights, uh, switching the hand to double overhand midway through the first clean, um, it's going to help your uh, efficiency in the movement uh, a lot more. So, uh, what I will point out is, a lot of people like to, well, a lot of people use a belt, and will actually um, use the belt as a resting point. So depending on what federation uh, you're competing under, some federations don't actually allow the belt to rest. Doesn't bother me either way, you just need to be aware when you're learning the movement that some uh, federations want a separation. So um, you can actually utilize the, uh, the belt if you need to. So some people will leave it here and um, you can actually sort of let your hands off and use this as a resting point if you like uh, before we clean the bar up to the back position so that's um, using the belt or that's called a belt clean so the next part I want to talk about is um, what we want to do with our hips when we are going to do the second part of the clean um, and actually get the bar up to our shoulder rack position so I talked about having the hips forward in the first part, 
creating a shelf for the bar to sit on, rowing the bar in tight. What we want to do now is we want to uh, drive, our, drive our legs out and up. And then when we're going to receive the bar in the rack position, we actually want to shift our hips backwards for receiving it. We don't want to keep um, our hips forward. Well, I, I don't like to keep my hips forward anyway. I think if you can receive with the, your hips back, um, it's going to be more efficient again for transferring to the overhead press part of the um, plenar press. So I'll run through that part quickly. From here, hips go from being forward to backwards when I receive it at the rack. Just like that. You'll also probably notice that when I get my hips back, it automatically forces me to sort of uh, lower myself under the bar. So um, it's also helping me get under the bar faster when I'm moving my hips backwards for the straightaway lower down to get underneath rather than having the hips in front and staying upright and not getting any um, dip under the bar. So that's pretty much um, some quick pointers on the, um, the continental clean. Just trying to think if I forgot anything else. Um, any other points? I can't really think of anything at the moment. If you have any questions, um, put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Also, if you have any requests for any other videos, um, yeah, I just want to try and get a bit more information out there about some of the strongman movements. Um, Continental clean is pretty, uh, can look pretty like dangerous or like it hurts, but I think if you do it the right way, it can definitely be done safely. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or any comments about uh, how I perform it. Peace.